Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm with the Regional Water Providers Consortium. Federal plumbing standards require that new toilets use 1.6 gallons per flush. Older toilets may use anywhere from 3.5 to 7 gallons. If you're not sure how old your toilet is, you can look at the neck of the toilet. If it uses 1.6 gallons per flush, it'll say so on the neck. If your toilet uses more than 1.6 gallons per flush, you can install a toilet tank bank, which can save you an average of a half a gallon per flush. You may be able to get one of these from your local water provider, or sometimes you can purchase them at a hardware store. To install a tank bank, you're going to fill the bag with water, and then put the bag into the back of the toilet tank, away from any moving parts. The toilet tank bank is easy to install and easy to remove if it does affect your toilet's performance. The next way you can retrofit a toilet is with a device called a fill cycle diverter. A fill cycle diverter is a simple plastic device that directs more water to the tank and less to the bowl during refill. The purpose is to have both the tank and the bowl finish filling at the same time. The fill cycle diverter can save you about a half a gallon per flush. These may be available from your local water provider. To install a fill cycle diverter, you're going to disconnect the flexible overflow tube from the rigid overflow tube and insert the single port end into the flexible tubing. Water will come out of each of the four ports and you can control how much water you send into the bowl and how much you send into the tank. You can install the toilet tank bank and the fill cycle diverter in the same toilet. If you do, you may save up to a gallon per flush. If you're interested in replacing your older toilet, look for a high efficiency water sense certified toilet that uses 1.28 gallons per flush or less. For more information about high efficiency toilets and water sense, please visit our website at conserveh2o.org. The instructional videos listed on our website are general guidelines. The Regional Water Providers Consortium will not be responsible for any damage to your home, landscape, or appliances from following the procedures in these videos. If you have concerns doing any of this work yourself, you may wish to seek the services of a professional plumber or contractor.